In this video, I want to show how to convert units of measurement. So here are the steps on how to solve these questions. And we're going to get started on question one. So what we want to do first is we're going to rewrite 60 in scientific notation. This is 6 times 10 to the first power. Next, we're going to replace this prefix micro, the symbol mu. We're going to write the appropriate power of 10 and mu corresponds to 10 to the negative 6 power so we're just going to replace mu with 10 to the negative 6 and then the meter is just going to follow so that part is just carrying over so to convert to nanometers we need to introduce the prefix nano but what we'll do first is just combine these terms we have 6 times 10 to the negative fifth power this is the result of multiplying 10 to the first by 10 to the negative 6. Now I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to write the meter, but now we wanted to convert to nanometers, but I can't just introduce this letter N here. If I introduce the letter N, I have to divide by the appropriate power of 10 that's attached to it. So N corresponds to 10 to the negative 9. So I'm going to write 10 to the negative 9 in the denominator here. So I have N over 10 to the negative 9. Now, the reason why this method works is let's say I was converting two feet to inches. That's a fairly simple problem and it would be 24 inches. But the way I do it is I multiply by the conversion factor 12 inches over one foot. So since 12 inches and one foot are equal, when I multiply by this fraction, I don't actually change the value of the original expression. So feet over feet cancel and it converts the units to inches and I have 2 times 12 is 24 inches. So that's the concept that we're using here. n and 10 to the negative 9 are equal so I'm really just multiplying this expression by 1. So then the last thing we want to do is just simplify the numerical parts and I have 6 times and 10 to the negative 5 divided by 10 to the negative 9 is 10 to the fourth power. You could just do negative 5 minus negative 9. So I have 10 to the fourth, and now I could just write nanometers. And this is the solution for the first question. For the second question here, I could go ahead and convert 0 0.053 to scientific notation. That's 5.3 times 10 to the negative second power. And in this question, I'll just make a space because it's in just meters. And when it's just meters, there's no prefix. I could just introduce the prefix for centimeters. But now if we look, centimeters, the symbol C corresponds to 10 to the negative second power. So same concept as before, I could introduce the prefix lowercase c, but then I have to divide by the corresponding power of 10, which is 10 to the negative two. So in this situation here, I could cross off 10 to the negative two because they're matching terms. So when I multiply 10 to the negative 2 by 1 over 10 to the negative 2, they just cancel out. And then the answer to the second question is just 5.3. And there's no powers of 10 remaining, so I could just write 5.3 centimeters. And that's my answer to the second question. We can now get this out of the way, because I think we get the idea. Now for the next question, I'm going to convert 15 to 1.5 times 10 to the first writing it in scientific notation. And now we have kilometers, so I'm going to convert k. k corresponds to 10 to the third power, so I'm going to write times 10 to the third power. And the meters is just going to carry over here. So we have meters. But now I want to convert to uh, picometers. I think that's how you say it. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully that's right. So I have 1.5 times 10 to the fourth power, and I'm going to leave a space. So this is me just doing 10 to the first times 10 to the third. But if I'm converting to picometers, I need to use this prefix. And the lowercase p uh, for pico corresponds to 10 to the negative 12 power. So I'm just going to write a 10 to the negative 12 in my denominator here. And now the last thing we need to do is simplify. So I have 1.5. And 10 to the 4th divided by 10 to the negative 12 is 4 minus negative 12, which is 16, or 10 to the 16, I should say. So I have 1.5 times 10 to the 16 
picometers for the last question. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video. If you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe below, and thank you for watching.